Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to find out why brass explodes when you crush it with the hydraulic press. And me and brass cylinders, we have a long and rich history. First time when I crushed the brass cylinders, I didn't know that they explode. I thought that they are like copper and basically turn into giant coin like this. But uh, that wasn't the case. First it looks like it's going to do that, but then this happens. Oi, me. What the? Uh, that wasn't good, we broke the window from the shop. And I was told in the comments that the brass work hardens so the harder you push it, the harder it gets. And today we are going to study that reaction by crushing brass cylinders. And we have this time our safety box, so we are not going to break any windows. So I'm going to swap out our regular camera and place the high speed camera here on the like really good position so we can get great details what is going on. Okay, here we go with the high speed camera. And I can record also live video while I'm, I'm filming the high speed. Uh, unfortunately, I left the focus speaking on, so it looks a bit weird. But here it goes on real time speed. Yeah, so it doesn't like explode in one go. It's like a bit longer process, but it clearly, clearly gets pretty hard. So let's have a look the actual slow motion clip to find out what happened there. Okay, here it's uh, here is the like play do face squeezing nicely, nothing interesting happening. And here there is now something is starting to happen. There is like small flakes coming out, and then the reaction starts to look more like like obsidian stone you can like smack like really sharp pieces out from that and it looks really really hard it's nothing like copper at this point so totally different thing Okay, so according to the high speed, there's like clear point where it stops being like crushable and it starts to be exploded. And I want to now see how hard it is compared to its original hardness at the point where it's like exploded, not anymore like play do like material. So I have new part in and I'm going to crush this until it starts to slightly explode. And then I'm going to take it out and compare it to the other part and let's see what's the difference. Okay, here we go. I think it's now slightly explode phase. So let's take it out and I'm going to test the hardness of material with different tools compared to regular brass. And this is actually a really nice result because it broke exactly the same way as the one that killed the window. So it is exactly the same thing now. Okay, time for the analysis and my uh, laboratory equipment is a drill and a file. I think I'm going to start with the drill. So the idea is that I'm going to drill this, see how hard it is, and then compare to this. I'm going to put my watch on the table and drill with roughly the same force for, uh, let's say, 10 seconds each. Oh. 
Okay, that's ready. And that's ready. I think there is actually a small difference. I'm going to get a me measuring device and check the depth of the holes. Okay, moment of the truth. The first hole is uh, three and a half millimeters and then the hardened hole. About two and a half. Thirty percent difference on the hole depth. And how about the uh, feeling when grinding? Yeah, pretty easy. Yeah, I'm not sure is there like huge difference on the how much material you remove. Maybe there is, but this feels way more slippery than this. So I'm not sure would it be even like good to have like work hardened brass as a bearing surface or something like that. Quite interesting. I think we're going to uh, Explore one more piece to see how like a smaller piece reacts because the tall piece is clearly explored in the similar way every time. Okay, the tall piece exploded around 50 tons. So let's see is this harder or weaker. I think it could be slightly harder, but not much. I got the right good idea. I'm going to crush this with absolutely full force and let's see if it hardens even more. Okay, it's it's super hard. But it's like, it's like glass. You can break it with bare hands. So the harder you push, the harder it gets, but the harder it is, the more brittle it is. So I think there is probably some kind of sweet spot on every use, how hard slash brittle your material can be and should be. And I think I'm, I don't know anything about brass as you probably have seen, but I think the like stuff that they sell it's already been optimized for use, so don't start to crush your bearing materials. It probably doesn't help. Yeah, but this was interesting bit like more science video for up chains. And on the next week we have again dangerous and stupid stuff. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.